One day, I'll move all of the backup files from the micro SD cards to the hard drive if I can be asked. And back in the glove box of useful items, you go. Just heard a fresh dopping dropping drop on my van. Uh, who's the culprit? Uh, there's the culprit. How dare you? Perhaps a stitch in time saves nine. Mm. A beef joint with onion gravy, slow cooked for 45 minutes. On a bed of broccoli, asparagus and carrots. With a mashed potato and swede to soak up the lashings of onion gravy. Mm, 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 oh, mm, oh, mm, mm, and I've got that tomorrow as well. With all that veg in it, I'm glad I split the meal into two separate days. Breathe. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, mm. <laughs> wow. That was uh, a nice beef and gravy. That's the lovely job. Oh, yes, I ate all that, and I will again tomorrow. Oh no, there. Hmm. What is that engine warning light about? It's limiting the revs to... Yeah. About 2,800 RPM. And the power is reduced. It still does 30, still does 70, but very slowly. So I've taken the electrical inspection hatch off here. I've got this TOBD2 Bluetooth uh, widget here. This should connect directly to the engine management system. And I've got an app open. So I tried a number of ELM 327 OBD2 apps that connected to my widget via Bluetooth. Nah, they couldn't tell me what was going on. Not sponsored by Mountain Dew. So I'm going to drive it to an auto spares shop uh, maybe get one of these or a plug-in OBD2 reader not in this shop try another one hmm I could pay for a diagnostic but I'll try this shop <laughs> So, while the issue is still unknown, I'm thinking it might be an exhaust gas regulator, throttle body stuck full of soot, um, one of the many sensors, gas sensors, temperature sensors, airflow sensors around the engine, could be slipping uh, timing chain, might be a gearbox fault. Could be other other things. Well, they didn't have one. <laughs> Try another shop. Could be 
and electrical connectors come undone could be diesel particulate filter could be a fuel pump could be a fuel filter I hope it's not an injector problem try this one as I have a European car although I'm fairly sure that OBD2 is an international standard mm, shouldn't be more than 40 pounds for that Well, that was good Euro parts. Oh, cut myself. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Straighten them out. And I got some uh, front brake disc pads as well. Right. How hard could this be? The male goes in the female. Don't get confused. If I can just find the hole. <laughs> Maybe I've got it the wrong way round. Yes. In. Right. Turn the... The key. Engine management on. Fault code lovely. What is it? It's exciting. Okay. Scan. Hmm. Oh, no. So it could just be intermittent, so I'm going to turn the key off, have this reset button on the right press down, turn the engine on, right, wait for the countdown to go with the spanner at the top there, I think that's done. Now we'll see if that engine management light comes back on again. Don't know what that means. Let's try. Turn it on. Hmm. Yeah, okay, problem's still there. So she doesn't talk to computers, does she? Well, no, she doesn't like talking to computers because she's a Citroen. Citroen had their own system called Lexia. Um, be before the um, European Union said this is silly, we want standardisation, we want everything on OBD2. So it's of that era, sort of late 90s, early 2000s, mm -hmm. where manufacturers used their own computers and made you buy their own kit. Yes. But um, yeah, I I'm, I'm absolutely blown away by this car. Oh no, I picked you two years ago. I have to find another one now. <sighs> uh, that'll do. All three of them. I'm getting really bored of this grinding poverty now. That can't be right. Maybe if I put my weight in the middle so the box doesn't hold it. Oh. I can balance. Yes. Hmm. Seems a bit low for me. Mm, touchy feely. <laughs> <laughs> 